Hey, we got a Saturday update. I'm very excited about SHIB. I'm going to go into some details here on some stuff that's happened today. And uh, I think you're going to like it. So let's jump right. Let's jump right on in. Okay, so look at this. This is a breakout that I was looking at. Now, if we go back, and I'm just trying to get you guys to understand the benefit of watching these videos. I don't have a real big audience, but the people that listen and are watching are making money. Look, this was on 10 days ago, December 6th. I was saying to watch for a breakout here, okay? And so I did, and I'm gonna go into some detail. Look at this. This candle here, this is a weekly candle, but let's look. It did most of the move on this weekly candle in one day. Let's look at today. Right here, this candle, it's 1121. This candle for me, was a monster. Let me show you what I mean. Now, when I say monster, I mean monster and profit. A monster profit. Let's let me show you what I'm talking about right here. Okay, you might not be able to see that. Let's get it in there. That is one thousand seven hundred and forty-two dollars. I know it's a little blurry. I've got to get me a better webcam, but one thousand seven hundred dollars just on the monster candle. Okay. And I was telling everybody that it was coming. So, yeah, there's that. Now, something, some, let's just go behind the scenes a little bit. Um, they are really making an advantage here. Um, I want to go to Coin Market Cap, and I can do. I'm, I'm going to do some some analysis here too, some more. So just hang in with me. Um, but I wanted to show you coin market cap today is such a mild day like literally nothing's happening 14 0 0.14 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.9 point like Solana is down 3% nothing's happening look doge 1% avalanche 1% this is a Saturday chain link is down but then we have shib shib is 14% and it is breaking out 11.2 Okay, 11.2. We just, we were in 0.9 yesterday. We had a zero. We just took a zero away and now we're crushing it. And it was a $1,700 day. Look at this chart. Okay, so what's happening? Well, let's go ahead and look at behind the scenes. Okay, so, so SHIB created this network. Let's go to Twitter and see if I can find anything there. Um, SHIB created a network. And by the way, if you guys aren't following me on Twitter, I throw out some good trades on there too. Um, but if we look at um, um, at Twitter, I follow some of these guys on here um, just to get some idea, right? But this is the leader of this, and he says, As billions of SHIB prepare for roasting, yes, it's in progress, and Shibarium transactions are worthy of tro toasting. <laughs> roasting toasting, get it? He's a comic. Uh, I continue to look forward to next week's announcement. Let's talk about it. Continued. Okay. Um, all right. Impactful burns will only take place through global adoption. We've seen adoption trickle in through 2023, but what can be done to ensure SHIB adoption worldwide per perpetually? For this is a web of decentralized leaders, early adopters, and those tired of the status quo. We must usher in a new era of crypto, blockchain, and Web3. This is a major shift from memes and lore to moving on to a global standard that can easily support the technology all of us are building. Finally, this next partnership, the purpose therein gives us a finish line to this groundbreaking experience known as Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu. It potentially increases our state's territory and will solidify the Shiba Army as the greatest community in the world, but only with your help. Okay, so a lot of that was, you know, I'm sorry. Don't get too excited about it, but this is what I get excited about. The roasting and the adoption. Okay, they, they're they burning tokens. And what that means is there's 500 trillion tokens available. I mean, it's an insane amount. But they're burning billions. They're going to be burning over a million dollars worth of token. And what they did is they created, um, they created a platform called Shibarium. Okay. And that is Shibarium. That is where, this is Shiba Swap. This is where you do farming 
where you can earn interest on your coins. This is paused right now. I was on this last year and I was earning passive revenue. It was pretty cool. Um, but then they did something new, which is they called Shibarium. And I thought there was a link on here, but I guess not. Let's see. Website. It might have. Um, might have. I thought it would have Shibarium. They've just got a lot of stuff that they're doing. Okay. Um, but anyways, uh, let's just see if I can go to it real quick. Shibarium. Shibarium. I just can't spell, that's why. Shabarium. <laughs> Shabarium. Uh, so funny. I'm sorry for all this craziness. Shabar. I am. Okay. There we go. All right. So this is a platform that they created, and transactions on here burn. Okay. They burn Shib. Okay. They burn Shib. Now, um, they have been doing a ton of transactions, right? They've done millions and millions and millions of transactions on this, and everyone is burning ship. And as this thing gets more popular, popular, you're going to see more burns. So anyways, SHIB ruled the crypto market. It really did today. And uh, I'm excited about it. Okay, so let's go back to the trading. Now, I want to show you something else. We're going to go here to um, chart settings and I'm going to show trading records in how I was purchasing ship. Okay, so this little B here equals buy, right? B, B. So I got my first buy right here um, at 12, 17, and 21. And actually, I got, got them sooner than that, but you can see 12, 17 of 21. That was two years ago from today. Happy SHIB anniversary to me. Um, and so these are weekly charts, by the way, and I actually got one earlier. Uh, I started actually in October. So this is actually my first buy. Okay, I don't know why those are missing, but it says buy. So every, these are weekly candles. I want you to see something. I bought, bought. You can click on it. I bought 1.2 million, 3 million, 3 million, 684,000, 3 million, 3 million, 5 million, 7 million, 14 million. Okay, you get the idea? 4 million, 3 million, 3 million. Okay, so this is pretty, we talk about consistency. This is consistent. I don't think there's a week that went by here that I didn't buy. Uh, maybe this week. I missed a week there, here. You guys just see this? Okay, that's where consistent it comes up. Bye, 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 bye. And then all of a sudden it stops. Well, that's because this platform that I'm using, Weeble, they moved SHIB off their platform. I don't know why they did. They opened a new platform. And the new one is only available on the phone. And so you guys saw my, but I kept buying, 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 buying. So I'm still buying. I'm still buying. Now, once I get to a certain level, I'm going to stop, right? I'm going to stop buying. But um, right now, I'm still going to do it for a little bit more. But here's the, the point of this. And I talked about this in the last video. You can go back and review it. I think we can get back up to all-time high. That was almost 9, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. But then let's take a look at um, where the targets could be. And I don't know if this has fibs. Does this have fibs? Um, let me go to a chart that has fibs. Let me pause it. All right, this is my trend spider charts. And this is Soul. By the way, I love Soul too. I should do a whole training on Soul. Um, I'm a, I love crypto. I'm a big stock guy. <laughs> I'm a big Forex guy. I'm a crypto guy, options guy. I like just like the markets, you know. So let's go ahead and look at um, SHIB, SHIB USD. And we're going to look at it. Uh, Binance is a good market. All right, so you can see the big boom boom today. And uh, we're up here. That's not, that's the wrong one. <laughs> that's SHIB versus BIRL. I don't know what that is. BIRL, what's that? SHIB. USD. 
Let's see. Okay, Coinbase is fine. All right, so you can see here we are. We got this monster $1,700 candle. Look at these support levels. Uh, this is a cool platform I use called Trend Spider. Um, but yeah, nice support levels. But um, let's run some fibs. And uh, we're going to do that. So I got to go to do that. What I want to do here is I got to go out to a weekly time frame. And we're going to run. Um, a fib from swing high to swing low okay and swing high to swing low was right here so let's look at a fib on this okay so anyways we just drew a fib retracement so you see from here to here is the swing on the fib and then if we take out this top which i think we could get our next target is the 161 then the 200 Fibonacci retracement target. Then there's a level up here. So I think if we take that out, we could get, uh, we could get possibly 1500, right? 1500. Okay. And um, that's pretty solid, right? That's a pretty solid gain up here. Um, do I know for sure that that's going to happen? No, but I like what I'm looking at and I like what I'm seeing and I am going to be trading that. Okay, so that's my SHIB update. Uh, you can see today we've had a, just a phenomenal day. I uh, want to encourage everybody to go back and check out some of my other videos just because I'm giving some really good nuggets of info. I'm going to nuggets that could actually make you guys a lot of money. Now, I'm going to be also doing some crypto update, or not crypto, some Forex updates later. So make sure you check those out if you're into Forex. I'm also going to be doing some stock and options updates. So again, whatever you trade, just stay tuned to this channel because I got good nuggets that I'm dropping. Now I get it. I'm not a great editor. I sometimes are slow on the videos and I'm not flashy like a lot of the other people. But I've got the knowledge, and I'm dropping the bombs, the bombs that will make you some money. So get on board and ask me some questions on the chat, right? I want to engage with the audience. What's your best trade so far in 2023? Um, I will tell you mine only if i get at least five people i'm playing a game with you guys i'll tell you my best trade if you tell me five people tell me your your best trade and now that i'm playing around what was your worst trade five people tell me their best five people tell me their worst i want to hear your best and your worst and i'll tell you my best and my worst um the good news is my best trade was way better than my worst um which is a good thing. Uh, I can't say that every year. Some years my worst trades are really bad, but I'm getting better these days. All right. Thanks. Let me know in the chat comments. Talk to you soon.